So let's go back to the view and build those out. Um, let's make skeletons for them first. So it's public function start. And the start one is going to take that type. Okay. And then we'll do a public function end. That will take no uh, parameters. And then we'll do one last, um, well, we'll do two more. So public function set site title. And that will take the title. And then we will set one more and it'll be a public function set layout. Oops. That'll accept a path. Okay, so we just need to go ahead and build all of these. Um, most of these are just gonna be getters um, because we have, at the beginning we set up these protected things and they're gonna be set up uh, and we're going to go ahead and either set or get those. Um, so let's work on the set layout first, uh, which is super simple. It's basically just this layout equals path. Okay, that's it. So that method's done. And then we'll do uh, this site title equals title. So those are just setters, basically, all we're doing is setting the site title with one method and the layout with the other method. Okay? And then we'll also need one more. We need a getter for this. So let's do uh, just site, we'll just call it site title. Okay? And that won't take any um, parameters. And it's just going to be um, if this. Site title equals a blank string. Then we're going to return site title, which we set in our config. Um, else, what we're going to do is just return um, this site title. Okay. This is just a getter, but it's going to, if we haven't actually set set anything in this site title, um, it's going to grab this. So another way to do this, um, probably a smarter way to do this is to set a default here and just call this site title like that. And then look at our config, make sure we've set that. And we have, that's here, okay. And then what we can do is just get rid of this if statement here and just use this as a getter. Okay, so that's just two different ways you can do that. All right, so the other one that we're going to do um, is our start and our end methods. And basically they're gonna use this content function, but our start one is gonna take a type. And what we're gonna do is we're going to set this, oops, I'm still in cat fox there. So we're gonna set this uh, output buffer equal to type. Now maybe output buffer is a, a bad name for what I'm doing here, but basically I have this property here and when we use the start function, I'm just going to store into that uh, property if it's head or body, okay? And then the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is just ob start. So we're going to start an output output buffer, and this is a, a built-in PHP thing. Um, so we're setting the t the output buffer to the type. So if if you remember in our view, the start head would set this property equal to head, and then start the output buffer, and then it would go through and it would render all the data there, and then it comes up to this end function. And then the end function is what's actually going to grab that output buffer, clean it, and, and print that to the screen, okay? So the start function is very simple. Um, the end function is a little more complex, but not bad at all. I think what I wanna do, we'll just do a couple if else statements here. So we'll just do if, um, and then end 
is we're going to say if this output buffer equals head, okay? So if it equals head, then we're going to set this head equal to ob get clean, right? And Yep, that's that. And then what we're going to do is um, else if so else if this output buffer equals body, then we'll do this body equals ob get clean. If not, what we want to do is we want to kill the page and we want to say you must first run the start method. Okay, just to give us a reminder of why this may not be working if they just forget to run the start or something fails there and it they try to use this end, well, we want that to we want that to kill the page and let them know what happened. Um, so I know this looks a little bit funky and it looks a little bit complex, but I'll spend a little time going over it. And then especially after we get this working, um, go ahead and um, spend some time with it and just kind of read through line by line and see if you can make heads or tails of what's going on or if you can make sense out of what's going on. Um, but really quick, let's just see uh, if, if this works. Um, so what we can do is, you remember we created the uh, home index, okay? So we have a syntax error, so unexpected views, line 13. Yep, I forgot to concatenate that there. So let's see if we have any other syntax errors. Line 14. Yeah, and that's because I copied and pasted that. So, of course, there is a problem there. So, um, there we go. Okay. So, that method does not exist on the controller home. So, what it's saying is we don't have an index method on the controller home. So, let's look at home. And we don't, we have home, so it's loading but we do not have the index action yet. First things first, we need, to, with all of our uh, controllers, we're gonna have to do the construct method. So we'll do public function construct. And remember that's two underscores. I only keep saying that because if you're trying to follow along and you don't see it there, you know, it, um, then you'll wonder why your code's not working. So we're also going to construct our parent class, which if you remember is the controller class, because all of our controllers are going to extend our controller class. So um, that's two underscores on that as well. And we're going to pass in the controller and the action to that. And then um, this is where you would want to go ahead and uh, set your layout. Um, but we're not going to have a layout just yet. We have that, and then what we have is go ahead and well, let me give you a little space to make this look a little nicer. So then let's uh, give it a public function. Now remember, all of our uh, actions need to be called index action or whatever the action is going to be called, but you add action to it, and that's how it's going to know uh, what is you know, what methods being loaded from the URL. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kill the page and say, welcome to the home controller. This is the index action, okay? So if this is working correctly, this should, yep. So it says, welcome to the home controller. This is the index action. Now, we should be able to just remove this index and get the same thing. And we do. 
And the reason that that is is because we set a default of index action. Now we also set a default controller. So technically we should be able to remove all of this to enter and we get the same thing. So we get home index action. That loads uh, from that controller even without putting explicitly telling it home or telling it home index, okay? Um, and that's pretty useful because you don't want to have a URL that says home index if you don't need to. Um, so this is our going to be our home page. Um, but now we need to test if our view is actually working. So let's go ahead and use our render function and say this view render. And the way that we're going to do this is it's going to be a string and you put it first the uh, directory or the path from the views folders perspective. Okay, just like this. So inside of views, we have a home directory, which will be here for slash index. So we're looking for home and then index. You don't have to put a dot PHP um, because that's being added. So let's go now to our to this and um, let's just see if this works. Okay, so what's happened is we um, looking on line 15 on the view file and it's trying to load the layouts and we haven't built the layouts yet. So let's just, for now, I'll comment that out. We will use that line later, um, but let's see what's happening. Okay, so for now, just to, let's not use these start and end methods. Um, simply because uh, we haven't built our layout our, yet. And once we build a layout, this, this will work, but until then, we, it's not going to. So uh, if we just put raw HTML here in our index, it, uh, it is going to load that. So again, I can take away this in the URL, and we're loading that uh, welcome to raw MVC framework, which is loading this index file. Um, one more thing I kind of want to test out while we're here is remember how I said that we could pass in uh, additional parameters. So what we could do is say home uh, index and then we could say put our name or something, okay? Uh, and what should happen is we can then put uh, a parameter here and anything past that uh, action, these will all be parameters. So I can add a lot of uh, parameters there. So what I want to do then is just see if this works. So let's do echo name right before our view render file. Okay, so now you can see that the home and those parameters is working. So I could change that to Tony. And when it loads the page, it actually is reading that as a parameter into there. So this is really cool. So you see that that works now. All right, so anyhow, uh, so far so good. We are getting the structure down for our MVC. And right now we just have views and controllers and we'll take care of the models later. Um, in the next video, I think what we'll do is go ahead and build our layout and make sure that our view is working correctly with our uh, render functions and our start and end methods and things like that. So I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this so far. And if you have, tell your friends about it and teach other people to program. There are plenty of jobs available and um, you can help people. So have a wonderful day.